So what is Canva, OBS, and Filmora? These are one of the free software that I use. Although Canva, if you want to subscribe, you can do so. And for Filmora, uh, you can get the, the lifetime subscription. It's not that expensive and it's very useful for personal, for family, and for um, your YouTube or Facebook uh, video editing for myself it's very very f useful because I use it for my work when I uh, need to record my video and I need to cr create some presentations and use and have it in video and also it's useful for my children because you can uh, they can uh, use my login and then uh, they can use it at home so let's try let's begin so the first thing that we are going to learn today is Canva. As you know, I have created a one 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 tutorial of how to use Canva already. And if you check out one of my video, you will find that uh, there's one for how to create a thumbnail using Canva because of pretty much I use thumb I use Canva for my thumbnails and my other stuff that uh, is very useful so for canva.com you just have to go go inside the website and sign up and then uh, have your sign in and a password and when you go inside you have to sign in and then you will have this interface inside and so canva is meant for YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, logos, resumes, etc. So you can have a try um, and you can subscribe or you just use the free one which I, do, I use. I use the free stuff that they have. But maybe later on when um, I will use most of the stuff in their tutorial uh, education, then definitely I will get the monthly or yearly subscription with which is also very reasonable price if you are using it for um, very very good purpose and then they also have these templates that you can uh, check out they um, I see so they have templates for social media, for personal use, for business, marketing, education, and trending matters. So you can have a look and they are um, very easy to use and very friendly to, to do. Uh, you, don't have, you don't have to effort much because there are a lot of templates available for you to use. And then they have features like photos. They have free photos as well, like Pixels and Pixabay. Um, they have backgrounds and nature and all those stuff. And they also have uh, icons. And if you are um, keen to printing some t-shirts, they also have uh, free design t-shirts that you can uh, do and then have it print out and you sell them on your your shop shopify account or uh, your your uh, online store and they have apps as well uh, google maps is also also attached with canva so if you want to add some google map in your video or in your uh, poster you can do that they have it and you can explore more things inside and you can download all the things that you've created at the end of the day you can download them and they also offer some tutorials so if you want to take courses uh, if you are you you are keen to do uh, more things about um, websites and all those stuff uh, social marketing and whatever then definitely you can take some of their courses it's also very reasonable price and they have free tutorial on how to use canva as well they have a built-in one which is uh, pretty much very interesting you can have a look and uh, if you are a subscriber you will become a canva pro and um, 
it's uh, it has a lot of things inside and then uh, if you are a blogger uh, writer you can also avail of the stuff that they have there are pretty much a lot of designs for you to choose from and uh, yeah you have to try this on uh, in your computer and there is a free option as well so if you don't have that budget at the moment and you want to have it free then by all means you can have it for free and now uh, if in the future you find that it's very useful for you then why not sign up to be a subscriber which is a pro enterprise and what whatever offering they have sometimes they have promotion so you can um, avail of their promotion as well and um, yes for me I've tried it for a month as a pro and then I find that I am not that uh, I don't live stream and uh, do videos most of the time uh, once or twice a week only so I find that I go back to the free uh, feature which is still okay and um, if you created uh, your items already it will be saved inside their system so if in case you deleted your save item in your C drive you can download them, them again in it's all stored in uh, canva.com uh, website so you can have it uh, downloaded for free again and then they have one of the best thing that I use is their YouTube features they have the channel art the display ad icon thumbnail where which is pretty much very useful for me and uh, I have also my intro created here in Canva so you can have a try also it's very very nice and for thumbnails I, I think uh, I have a separate tutorial from that which I've uh, uploaded a few few weeks ago so you can have a check it check of that one um, pretty much it's very easy to create a thumbnail for from here because in Canva you just have to drag and drop and if you don't like the photos that they have you can definitely upload your own photo and have it as a background and then um, if there's a there's a canva background you can also replace that photo they have a lot of free photos that have the don't have the canva background because if you are not a subscriber yet or a pro pro member then uh, there are special templates that they have and you will get to see this um, canva background so that's um, for Canva. Why not try it? It's for free and it's very easy to use. You go ahead and try them. And one of the best features that they have that which I find is very useful is that you can do your stuff also here and post it in your Instagram account. And then they have also Google Map and Facebook and Dropbox things. You can upload stuff from your Dropbox to here as well as there are a variety of texts that you can choose from so it's pretty much cool to use them uh, there are, I've used a lot of texts they have and uh, it's very easy to edit and um, and learn so uh, for sure you have a uh, check out this canva.com it will help you a lot with your YouTube content and uh, your thumbnails your posters and you are applying for a job they have templates also for resume and if you want to create a greeting card or what invitation they also have it for free they have free designs that you can choose from and from there you can um, beautify it then the next thing that we are going to discuss today is OBS studio OBS studio is from google.com it's a google owned software and it's for free and it's the one that I use when I live stream I um, find it very easy to use and I find all the things that I need is here and I can save it to my uh, liking and um, yeah it's very easy to use so when you go to google.com you type in OBS and there will be two things that will come up 
which is Streamlabs, OBS, and OBS Studio. So for now, we will. I am using OBS Studio still. I did uh, try Streamlabs, but um, I find that um, there are so many things inside that um, gives me a headache. <laughs> so I go back to this very simple one, which which is OBS Studio. But maybe later on, I will go back again to Streamlabs. Um, because uh, it's very um, useful as well especially for gamers and then even you go and downloaded I have unlo downloaded your OBS studio it will look like here like this and if you want are ready to stream just copy over your stream key over here and then it will be uh, you just have to press start streaming and it's good to go and for setting wise it's pretty much very easy to set there is this it's not that complicated everything that you need is here and I use normally would use a studio mode wherein I can uh, check what's uh, what is displayed online and what I, what I have it on the next um, preview so it's uh, you can have you can try it I know it's uh, easy to use you can uh, um, manipulate it very easily and then there is this Streamlabs OBS so for Streamlabs OBS uh, it's f more of a kind of a for for those people who are in games and s most some of those uh, youtubers also they use Streamlabs I've used it before which is um, pretty much interesting and uh, because I can uh, I can live stream to two platforms like I can live stream to both YouTube and Facebook together so it's uh, it's a good one and it's for free um, and then there are gamers who are u using this one the twitch um, it's very very nice for gamers so you can have a check it out you can check it out as well so for stream labs it will look like this there are free um, window screen uh, features and you can have your screen very nicely and you can select f the stuff that are free and there are also paid ones and then we go to Filmora. Filmora is the best editor for me because I've been using it for quite some time since 2015. So for me, it is very effective. Uh, I can use it. My family can use it. I can use it for personal use. I can use it for for anywhere for my work. I can also because sometimes I edit videos for presentation. I create a uh, uh, present uh, like tutorial kind of thing videos and I just upload and they listen and they ask me questions afterwards so it is very good uh, if you can have it a try you give it a try uh, if you have not tried and the the subscription for lifetime or for a year it's very very minimal it's um it's um reasonable price really and then so if you go to filmorawondershare.com you will have a free download and uh, if you are a subscriber they always update their um, software and every time they update and if you are a subscriber it's for free it's free to up upgrade and um, currently they have this promotion um, if you if you would want to sign up then by all means you can have a 15% discount and if you have go to their website they have this interface and there you can sign in and you can download the software and you can um, have it in your um, mobile and in your PC so for here like I use most of it most of the time in my laptop and my children on their desktop so they um, have my login and so for Filmora if I am using it I'm and I'm on login then my daughter cannot use it 
then I have to log out and then she can use it because I only have one license so pretty much it's very good for family if you have uh, video editing or slides to do and presentations wise it's very very nice there are a lot of features inside for you to check so when you go in and sign in you will get to see this uh, window and you can have a new project and you can also use your existing one you can edit your existing one and then um, they have lots of stuff inside for you it's like canva and it's a drag and drop kind of thing and if you have photos and videos then definitely you can uh, up upload them import them to here and the best thing about about um, Filmora is I can um, remove the voice I mean the sounds if I don't like the music I, re I can remove it and replace it they have a lot of audio for free also so it's um, and if you have your own music by all means you can also do that you can upload it import it to here and so you can have it a try I use I use this one to all my videos and my presentations is very very good and they have um, a lot of tutorials online and uh, for free and it's pretty interesting and one of the features that I love from here is that you can uh, create output in different forms and you can straight away upload it to your YouTube or Facebook account and you can set them very nicely or a rough draft or uh, whatever to your liking it's all there so have it you have it you you, sh you have a try of it and then let's see from there so I've covered everything for the time being and next um, live stream we will be talking about OBS versus StreamYard and uh, Filmora versus Kinemaster and Power Director Video Editor because uh, I've seen a lot of uh, YouTubers using StreamYard and I've seen also OBS using OBS so which one is better it's up to you um, but uh, for me I'm just uh, it's just my opinion but uh, for video editor I also uh, saw a lot of game Kenny Masters and Power Director user and um, yeah it's um, it's good to to have a try of this software um, you can um, have it downloaded in your s in your computer and you can have a try and then um, let me know what is your opinion so um, today also we will be uh, I will be 